All right. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. We're going to be getting out some of the later game technologies, hopefully sometime soon. But this game is a bit of a marathon. We're finally at the point where people are getting pregnant. So our village is going to expand and we're going to have to really start getting into teaching the kids, making sure they were passing down all the things that we're learning. I've actually never, I think you can have multiple stone tablets, but it will only pull from one stone at a time which is fine because that way we can kind of go through everything. But I am kind of wondering, you know, if you had a bigger village at some point, you probably would want those things separated. But we're not going to worry about that right now. You need quite a big build, uh, village for that. You need like 60-something odd people. I don't know if we'll get that far. All right. Cool. We got dire wolf domestication. So now we can send people out to look for dire wolves if we want to bring them back and train them, which would probably be a good idea, but I'm going to pass on it right now. Uh, I kind of want to get everything else situated first. All right. And total seven chickens. Hopefully we get some chickens back in there soon. But yeah, overall we got pretty much everything we want. Just kind of need to let people uh, do their thing. Beast herd. Ah, yeah, there's the, the dire wolf. So we go there Kill the two dire wolves, and we'll get a dire wolf cub. Um, that's kind of a... It's going to take everybody for that. Two dire wolves. One dire wolf is easy, but two... Two is probably easy as well, but it's going to take a little bit more than we have right now. But yeah, so far, so good. People are getting old, though, and they will start passing. They will start dying off. Um, so we got to be kind of mindful of that. They got a good amount of time, but yeah, once they become elders, oof. But yeah, that's what I mean. This this game has quite a bit of depth, but it does, you know, take a long time. So it looks like there's eight intelligences. But yeah, you you would in theory, you would in theory want to have all all of your intelligences written down, but I don't know how many story points you're gonna want to have. I would imagine you would want to have at least four and alternate between. Two. That way, you're not kind of overdoing it, but you can alternate the generation, the generations that you teach that way. So yeah, if we did four, then we could do them in the corners like this. Four might, yeah, four are probably better than five. We'll, we'll play around with it. We're all we're learning, and we definitely want to pause these guys but I do want to get another story point in case I want to start doing other stuff right now we're we're doing the crafting and it's not fully there yet All right, cool we'll get that one up and I think for this one we're gonna want to do hmm I kind of want to do fishing. I feel like that's a big, big source of everything. If we can get people with massive fishing skills, I think that'd be advantageous. But yeah, you do get to a certain point. Like, I'm sorry, but there really isn't much, much to do in between these points until we get to a little bit more or we get attacked. So we might do a little bit of skipping ahead. Make sure that they're all engraving the tablets. And we goals each of them can inscribe up to their knowledge, so you can have as many people as you want inscribing. You actually want everybody to inscribe. Um, but it will only go up as much as they have knowledge. But it's cumulative. So if you have four people with 50, you can get it up to 200. So that's kind of cool. It's a way for the larger your village, the easier it is to get those up. But I think that this only increases the rate at which they learn. I don't actually even know how it interacts. But we're going to have kids here pretty soon. we got three people who are pregnant. Might actually have more. Uh, one person is sick. Uh, we're going to have to go search for herbs because people are getting sick and we are not supplied. That gives us enough for... Okay, let's have them go out for four days. That's only two days. Whoops. There we go. All right, we'll send two people out for four, uh, four days, get some herbs. Getting our fishing done. Getting that down. 
I wonder if I can keep inscribing on you No, know, it says it can only do it from one at a time. So yeah. Yeah, tell about crafting over here. We'll tell about fishing. And yeah, we'll pull from that. But yeah, we can switch it as needed. But I think it'd be good to kinda like I said, divvy them up. And we can have two generations of people learning different skill sets. Excluding, yeah, he needs, oh yeah, we got, we got issues going on here. Ooh, nice. Fish pond and net. Ooh. I like all of that. It's like we can only designate one person because they're there, but we can make our own fish ponds. I guess I'll, alright. I'm going to give them both, but nets would be great. We can really start fishing then. I don't know how much fish are left, though. I think we've kind of scared them out over fish. Might be, uh, might be the best route for the being able to make fish that way then. Yeah, they're having to go further out to get fish now. There's also farming and agriculture and all that kind of stuff, so we might have to kind of look at that a bit. Because we have three potions, so... The sick person should be good now. Yeah, they're good. We still... And yeah, we got more herbs coming back, so we're good, good shape now. It's kind of harsh, is that, yeah, you have... You basically are limited to how many kids you can have. Uh, because you can only have four at a time, so it becomes kind of difficult, I think. In the beginning, at least, it's very difficult to get it all in good order. Alright, we need to kind of expand. I'm going to put a tent over here. And put some floors. I just like kind of want to pre pre get this area ready for when we have more people. Make a new tent with beds. Because I think they can have a baby randomly like every other year. So we might actually be able to get a lot of a lot of kids in. If we keep pumping them out. No oh, dang! Look how much food we have. Two thousand fish up on drying racks right now. Yeah, those bone spears are are doing an amazing job. We might even need to get more meat racks. Maybe one more meat rack. There we go. Get that shack up. Nice. Yeah, I just want to make sure that there's plenty of plenty of spots for this big community that I'm hoping to have here. Can't hear anything, but they're working. Cool. Yeah, this is definitely a very... We're still very much in the tribal stage. I wish there was a way to kind of tell them to bring all these sticks back. Right. Fish pond has been invented. Nice. Net's been invented. Okay, cool. So we're at a point where we definitely want nets. Yeah, nets are pretty easy. We should maintain about six nets. And now what is a fish pond? That sounds pretty dope. There we go. Holy cow. No support here. So if I... I have to do it right here. In the... Let's build it here. Interesting. Let's see what they do with this. It might actually literally make a pond, so... Just five stone, huh? That looks like, uh... They'll do their own. That's pretty dope. Yeah, we can have fish ponds out there. It'd be pretty great. Nice. Got lots of food now, finally. I hope when those kids come out. But the, the, what I read is the kids stay on the mother's back for about a year. And then in four years, they'll become adults and can work. There's a really short period of time. But the, the game just works that way. It's It's got a... 
They have ages. You can see here this person's 14, but in in-game years, it's year 7. Jeez. I got pregnant at 14. That's awful. Alright. Um, fishing 90, forging 15. Yeah. We're getting there. You can see that the majority of our, our skills are going into some pretty terrible things. Herbs. Yeah, gathering resources. You don't get anything till copper mining way later. Yeah, crafting and fishing and everything else. Yeah, crafting and fishing seem to be the two that we have, quite honestly, the most invested into. That's great. They became. They were pregnant a while ago. Taking forever. Hey, you can see. Second trimester. There we go. Progress 20 out of 30. We're getting there. Oh, nice. Look at that. So it looks like over time the fish. I don't know how they dug that out, but over time the fish pond will fill with fish. Fish need fish food to grow big. Ah, so that's where that fish food comes in. And all that is is just made from insect paste. It doesn't even look like it has a cost. It looks like it's just something that's made. And then they feed it to the fish food. Um, we'll need to assign that to someone, I think, though. Food preparation. Black seed. Farming. Yeah, they can't work because they're pregnant. Feed animals. I think I need a couple of people on that now. Hunting. Uh, it'd be nice if we could just start going to being more an agricultural society or a grown society. Storage. Put in fish food. Fishing, no fish. Gonna have to let them do their thing, but that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. There's a lot of, a lot of agriculture, and, or not agriculture, but like husbandry and stuff like that. I don't even know if that's aquaponics. I don't know what you want to. No, it's not aquaponics. It's a. You're not using it to make plants either. The fish pond. <laughs> it's a fish pond. It's just a fish pond. Nothing fancy. But yeah, we definitely need more people. I feel, I can feel like I've, we're good on the food, we're getting an enormous amount of fish, but uh, everything else is lacking. Too many branches. They're not feeding the animals, they're, it looks like they, we finally got the chickens, but they're not going out here and they're not gathering berries, even though I've told them to gather food. Well, let's go down to gather resources, priority. Okay, so it's not gathering resources then. It's, um, it's, uh, one of the others. Crafting, building, gather, fishing. How oh, nice, we can prioritize all that stuff. Hunting, feed animals, butchering, collect livestock, farming. Ah, here it is, forging. Foraging, sorry. 600, okay. And for some reason, none of them can do it. And I'm wondering if... I know it said earlier that not enough blades, but they're... Is that the problem? They have blades. They just don't want to do it. Oh, unfortunately, the... That's actually kind of scary. The people who are prego, I cannot command them. So, I gotta take this by myself. I actually think we're gonna just gang up and do one at a time. Okay. And this person's gonna move out. Alright, they're gonna move again. I don't know if I lost somebody. That was... Yeah, we got one down. That was pretty... Yeah, it's pretty brutal. We need to get, um, probably the slings in people's gearboxes. 
Yeah, he's sick, needs treatment. He got hit in the groin or something. That's what it looks like to me. Two corpses spreading plague. Cool, we'll burn their bodies. Yeah, that was pretty... I hope he gets better. Oh, he's not getting better. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Patient doesn't need potion. Okay. They're not getting better. They're in the uh, the medical bed. Medical care. Dead. Soothing. Herbalism. I don't know if I can actually save this person. They're not getting any better. And it's not really telling me what's going on. Serious illness and hunger. Falling down, recovery, injury, bandage. But they're not getting any better, and it says that they can't they can't use potions on them. Patient doesn't need a potion. Oh, this person can't work, that's why. He's the wrong person. Do this game. Right. Keeps telling me Thormoon can't work, but that's not what we're I'm trying to do. Feed patient. Workforce has reached the maximum limit. I need to feed this patient, or they're gonna die. And what's weird is it says they have a serious illness, and they have hunger. And I cannot do anything. Well, that sucks. Kind of a lame way to, to lose someone. We definitely got the patient bed. And, uh, let's... We'll slow this down so I can figure out what's going on. Injuries fully healed in 20 hours. And I don't think they're going to last that long. Health loss is 0. 0.4 every hour. Oh, that's kind of scary. There's nothing I can do. I can't even, I can't even feed the patient. So, I'm just gonna have to leave it to the to the gods, I guess. They live, they live. It's kind of scary. That means when they have a certain amount of HP, you want to just run them away so they have enough HP to get through the illness or uh, the, the damage. Bonfire. Okay. That's food to eat. Cool, they're, eat they're feeding. They're feeding them. And then we can see that health loss fully healed now. There we go. Ooh, they made it. Okay, so that's how that works. So yeah, you don't want them to fall too low because they'll they'll bleed out to death. So that's good to know that that kind of stuff. I didn't know that. But at least we didn't lose them. That's all I can say. And they'll get better now. Oh, nope, they died. <laughs> I think they died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he died. He he ran outside and he died. I don't know how. They had max HP. Did he die from old age? What? He had max HP. Man. This, this is early access, early access, so... Remember that. Um, we have to bury him. All right. Well, we'll bury him next to the the burn pit. That's kind of unfortunate. Definitely want to bury him sooner than later. All right, cool. They're finally harvesting berries, at least. Now they're all harvesting berries. Yeah, I don't know. He just he was trying to just trying to fish, and then he died. Weird. But that's what I'm saying, that's what's slow progress about this game. 
Might actually have to sit down for like a couple hours and get it get to a point where I can show more of the gameplay because um, I think I'm gonna have to like run this in the background for a bit. This is kind of crazy. All right, can you guys throw him in the ground, please? We only got three people to defend. Ah, uh, they're getting glitched out on this. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. It's just. I don't know. I feel like... Oh my god, he probably got glitched out on that thing and died or something. I don't know. I just... I have a feeling that it's... It's something with that glitched it all out. This, like I said, this is still early access, early access. This game is not gonna run well. It's just the way early access is. Definitely a great, great game and a great concept, though. They've done a lot. But, yeah... That kind of stuff. This kind of stuff just takes time. Alright, cool. We just had four children born. So that's pretty crazy. Like I said, children stay on the the mother's back, but I think they can go back into the workforce now. I can see the kids are on their back, but they're able to mine stone. That's great. Yeah, that's right. Got our workforce back. We got four new people in four years. Four years is a long time. It will take quite a bit of time for those kids to get up there. But our food supply is pretty amazing right now. We do definitely have slings and other stone spears. Alright, well that's going to do it for this Let's Play. I will try to get more out when I have the time. Thank you guys so much for watching.